Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Here we are again, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I am circling back around on the topic of politics. I know, joy. This will be called political hell. We have a lot that's happened since the last political podcast. Nothing has changed my outlook. I still think from the Republican and Democratic view, it's all corrupt nonsense. I think there's a need for big change. Doesn't look, look like it's happening. Besides all the bullshit wars and half ass cover ups, the bullshit with Venezuela, we have Bernie Sanders dropping out. And by the way, he would be what I consider a popular, easy win over Trump. But of course, there has to be this political garbage and nonsense. And this fucking zombie Joe Biden looks like he will be the nominee. Disappointed in Bernie, this is probably his last chance. And for all his career as an independent, coming in and just letting the Democrats shit on him, scam him year after year. You don't have to look any further than all the bullshit bills that the Democrats sign and just shows how deep the corruption is. We have this virus now, the pandemic. Trump's a fucking buffoon. Just an idiot of epic proportions. Besides probably being a shitty fucking person. So I'm not happy about the state of affairs. I'd like to see Biden choose Tulsi Gabbard. Because at this point, I don't think him choosing anybody else will get me to vote for him. He's just a creepy fucking lying con artist who goes back deep in the trenches of this warmongering garbage that started years ago with all his bullshit laws, how many people he put in jail. And I just hate him and his creepiness with women and children smelling people's hair. You got sexual allegations against him. Maybe not as many as Trump, but hey, you know. And you see the hypocrisy where all these people, Alyssa Milano and all these other celebrities and journalists and pundits and all the people out there with a um, fan base of some sort will always say, believe the woman, believe the woman, believe the woman. And it looks like, oh, Joe Biden, no, oh, vote blue no matter who. Oh, you know, don't believe the woman. It's okay. You know, well, nah, you know it could be wrong, you know. Don't watch all the videos of him smelling little girl's hair and them pushing, pulling away from him and all the nonsense. Don't bother going looking back on his record and, you know, the 30 years of fucking garbage he spewed into the political landscape. No, he's got to be Trump. Well, to be honest, I give no fucks. Fuck you and your bullshit shaming and trying to get me to understand how important it is. No, I have integrity. Yes, there is a point where I would probably vote for Biden. Like I said, it would probably have to be Tulsi as his running mate. I don't know if things would change with Bernie. I will be at least that open-minded. However, I don't see anything good coming from any other running mate. I don't care who it is. I'm not a fan of any president, basically. Back to maybe fucking Carter and who knows. I was a child. I don't know what to think right now. Um, I don't have a uh, impulse to just go, you know, I got to get Trump out of here. I think for me, it just further cements the death of the Republicans and the religious right. 
if he stays in office. So right now he's dealing with this virus horribly, another fucking disaster, and maybe his own base will start losing faith in him to some extent, and the Republicans. So I, maybe he would lose. But let's say I don't vote for Biden. Nah, wah, wah, wah. Trump is here. I think he just cements that forever the Republicans will be destroyed. You can't have a disgusting pig of a president, an idiot like this, and still claim, you know, whatever family values you stand for and conservative uh, bullshit. No, sorry to Mitch McConnell's. All these fucking idiots are going to be exposed and have been. And it's just a matter of time. So if we replace Trump with Biden, you know, on the surface, Biden would probably be a more classy statesman in that in that sense. But he's still a fucking con artist. Probably will kill way more people than Trump will in, in any sense of the word and has over the years. Trump might have fucked people and scammed people and he's a racist, fucking narcissistic fucking buffoon, but Biden's been in the trenches, lying for wars, making laws that getting um, minorities arrested, just his whole fucking disgusting behavior. So I don't see this as a win. The Green Party sucks. I would love for Jill Stein to go again, but hey, what are you going to do? Bernie should have went independent. But he's just... I don't know, swayed by the democratic nonsense. There just so seems to be no end to this, not bullshit, so I don't really care. I might have just write in Tulsi as my um, right to write it. I don't even know if New York still does that. Who knows what all the fucking laws that are changing. I get a... Uh... Shitty feeling every time I circle back on this topic of politics. I want to keep myself informed, do a little bit of research, uh, find out the bullshit, and it just exposes a cesspool of garbage. And even when you have a little rays of hope here and there, they have to fall, fold in eventually. And I'm okay with that to a certain extent. I might have even voted for Elizabeth Warren, that wishy washy, backstabbing fucking cunt. But. I don't know if I can do it this time with Biden. He's just too fucking flawed. I have no fucks to give anymore with the political agendas of any lobby corporation bullshit. It's enough already. You want to go, you know, full um, progressive? Fine. I mean, maybe normally I wouldn't be sitting here saying, oh, yeah. Let's give everybody Medicare for all and UBI, free money every week or month or whatever it is. But I think you got a point now where you have to have drastic change. And maybe that change will be too lopsided and then things will balance out. So I don't really care. Like, they're going to fucking wrote the laws in, give these bills that benefit fucking billionaires and millionaires. Well, everybody fucking flounders and... Uh, struggle to survive They give no fucks This is not a bullshit fucking uh, Conspiracy Which are really in play Now with the virus You gotta be careful The conspiracies that are real are the dangerous ones And all these other ones just become You know um, Shields and beards For the fucking real one So I get the I get the premise of it. I understand why you get all these facts that just don't line up. It seems uh, man-made virus and just put chips in people. It's just fucking stupid. But I understand it. I see where the natural tendency would be to go in in these circumstances. But Russia Gate, the whole Mueller, it's just all bullshit because they're all fucking dirty and corrupt. It's just doesn't matter. Pelosi and just a, just a mire and muck of everything. So no, I don't give a fuck about your plea for we gotta vote Joe Biden in. No, I don't give a fuck about your hypocrisy and your flagrant disregard of your integrity to fucking kowtow to this fucking idiot and some fucking corrupted system that gets him in there. 
Where these people can't make full sentences. You got Bernie selling out stadiums. He's like a rock star. These people are playing, uh, doing their things in basketball fucking arenas and st- little college rooms. They can't even get nobody in there. And the polls and this and that, or delegates. It's just a fucking. It's just bullshit. I don't care. Fuck Biden. Fuck his fucking nonsense. And the whole political fucking circus that goes with them. I just don't care. However, I understand the Trump hysteria. You got to get Trump out. He's so bad. He's going to destroy the country. Orange man bad. I give no shits about that end of the spectrum, too. There's always some fall fucking. Everything he does is becomes a fucking disaster. Fine. You know, he gets what he deserves in that in that case. He's just a seems to be a disgusting buffoon and now it's making it worse with this virus and his you know, fucking disinfecting sunlight nonsense that he tries to pull off his sarcasm everything is fake news it's just fucking just a sad time in America still looking at it from a certain point of view it's still the best of times in certain ways I can see the silver lining to certain things. I hate that people are dying from disease and all this virus. I don't like that my all my means of money have been cut off except for one, which just happens to be delivering kosher food. And now everything is take out of delivery. So that one part-time job I'm keeping, but it's hard. And... Twelve hundred dollars a month, whatever the fuck it is, one time. It's just, it's a, it's a insult. But people take what they need, they, what they can get. Try to make the best of it. So I even understand the protesters. However, they're just big idiots. In the long run, you bring your fucking guns and your. I want to get my hair cut. Just fucking shut the fuck up. We get it, okay? You're worried about the rights and you're worried about the trend that's being set with people being in their houses. and But you have to take a breath. There's a time for healthy doses of skepticism. And there are times where you just have to do your own research, get a little dirty, uh, take a little time. Instead of just spouting off the mouth bullshit. So I can understand certain things just weird time in America and all over the world with this pandemic and the political hell we're in is mostly our fault in America this is what happens when you think silly beliefs don't mean nothing you know well you know no one's hurting anybody all these trains of thought all these ways of thinking impact each other there are layers and layers of how complicated we are as humans. From all the cognitive biases and distortions and the cognitive dissonance. It's just, it's a, uh, it's sad. We should have a system of teaching people the foundations of breathing and meditation, critical thinkers. But when you don't have a foundation, it just doesn't work and that's the same thing now with the politics we the foundation is rotted it's gone it's just a hollow shell rotted out and these stars these wonderful people i'm sure there are plenty of them that want to go in and save the democrats and restore the values and the republicans and but it's a it's a illusion it's a shit show so I guess the theme of this would be, I don't care about your whining about the desperation to get Trump out. I'm sorry. Yes, he's a buffoon. Yes, he's horrible. He's a disgrace. Fine. All those things are true. However, you get him in there another four years, you'll wipe out the Republicans' integrity. All the values they have will be thrown to shit. It'll finally expose them or even more, just like with after Bush. And then you'll get a female... Uh, Jewish president. I mean, these are the things that have to happen. So go for it. Get that Medicare for all. Give people UBI. Throw the socialist agendas in there. 
fix things up, compensate for it later, keep an eye on it, make sure all the things were right about Bernie's um, plan, because I read it and it seemed pretty good about where the taxes were coming from. It's not like all this stuff is free. We pay for it. Richest, greatest country in the world, right? You know, time to put your money where your mouth is. Enjoy the political hell. I feel bad for a lot of people. I know it's tough. It's not easy with a buffoon as a president and then the anti-intellectual, non-science believing fucking Neanderthals that are out there that just want to beat their chest and claim all ridiculous bullshit because they are parroting it from a fucking stupid news source. And it's on both sides. The Republican far right and the Democrat far left. It's just a shit show. Navigate it well. Do some research. Look into things. Hope for the best. Plan for the worst. Be safe out there. Stay healthy.